so here we go. Appar Youth, apparently I need the ban. Um, apparently I'm I'm transphobic and also I hate non-binary and gender fluid people. I guess uh, this is new to me, but uh, as a mod, it is your duty to ban me. It's true. It's true. I, I hurt someone's feelings, and uh, I am now uh, transphobic, and apparently also racist. Uh, but you know, I, I guess I guess that's what it is. This is this is who I am now. Um, can mods ban mods? I mean, I'm not sure. I don't know how that works. Uh, Georgia Secretary of State says fellow Republicans are pressuring him to find ways to exclude ballots. This is pretty uh, great, I guess. Uh, not. Uh, let's see. Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger uh, said Monday that he has come under increasing pressure in recent days from fellow Republicans including Senator Lindsey O. Graham of South Carolina, who said he questioned the validity of legally cast absentee ballots in an effort to reverse President Trump's narrow loss in the state. In a wide-ranging interview about the election, Raffensperger expressed ex exasperation over a string of baseless allegations coming from Trump and his allies about the integrity of the Georgia results, including claims that Dominion Voting Systems, the Colorado-based manufacturer of Georgia's voting machines is a leftist company with ties to Venezuela that engineered thousands of Trump votes to be left out of the count. Holy shit. <laughs> That's some wild bananas uh, shit. Um, the atmosphere has grown so contentious that Raffensperger said that he and his wife, Trisha have received death threats in recent days, including a text to him that read, You better not botch this recount. Your life depends on it. Dang. Okay. So, I just need to, uh... <laughs> oh, I guess somebody got spicy in chat? Alright. Anyway, uh, so apparently, for this to be true, um, let's see, Trump and his allies are claiming that Dominion voting systems uh, are that are manufactured in Colorado have ties with Venezuela, and Venezuela used its influence to get Dominion voting systems to make sure that Trump votes are left out of the count on the off chance that their system will tip the tip the election. I just needed I needed to break down that thought because it's so wild to me. All right. Other than getting you angry, it's very disillusioning, Raffensperger. And I need to I need to remind you guys, Georgia's Secretary of State is is a Republican. He's 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 on their side. He's in their party. Uh particularly when it comes from my side of the aisle. Everyone is that is working on this needs to elevate their speech. We need to be thoughtful and careful about what they say. You, have you not been listening to your party for like the last 10 years, my dude? Wh what? <laughs> Gosh. The pressure on Raffensperger, uh, who has bucked his party in defending the state's voting process, comes as Georgia is in the midst of a laborious hand recount of about 5 million ballots. President-elect Joe Biden has a 14,000 vote lead in the initial count. The normally mild-mannered Raffensperger saved his harshest language for Republican Douglas A. Collins, uh, sorry, Re Representative Douglas A. Collins, Republican of Georgia, uh, who is leading the president's efforts in Georgia and whom Raffensperger called a liar and a charlatan. Dang. Gu guys, for those of you who don't know, uh, when a Republican calls someone else a charlatan, it's basically the, the, the harshest language they can use. Um... 
Collins has uh, questioned Raffensperger's uh, handling of the vote and accused him of capitulating to Democrats by not backing allegations of voter fraud more strongly. Raffensperger has said every accusation of fraud will be thoroughly investigated and that there is currently no credible evidence that fraud occurred on a broad enough scale to affect the outcome of the election. The recount, Raffensperger said in the interview Monday, will affirm the results of the initial count. Um, let's see. He said the hand-counted audit that began last week will also prove the accuracy of the Dominion machines. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was, uh, I was reading about this. Um, Floyd County discovered uh, 2,600 eligible votes that weren't included in the initial tallies. Um, Trump supporters lifted this up as saying, like, look, they're, they're, they're hiding the ballots. Out of these 2,600, Trump won about, like, 800 of them. The rest all went to Biden. So Biden actually increased his lead with these votes. Um, <laughs> it would be much more effective, Yuf. It would be much more effective. Um, tiniest boop. That was a good one. That was a good one. Let's see. Collins ran unsuccessfully for Senate this year and is blamed by some Republicans for pushing the incumbent in that race. Uh, fellow Republican Senator Kelly Loeffler into a runoff against Reverend Raphael Warnock, a Democrat. All right. Get him, boop. <laughs> I, I mean, 95% of the party is behind Trump. Like... Uh, like, even, like, statistically, Raffensperger is probably a Trump supporter at this point. So, like, this is just, like, his guy coming down to make fun of him and tell him he's incompetent. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Georgia's Secretary of State says, says he's being pressured. Uh, to find ways to exclude legal ballots. This is basically the uh, a similar but different article that I found. Let's see. In their conversation, Graham questioned Raffensperger about the state's signature matching law and whether political bias could have prompted poll workers to accept ballots with non-matching signatures, according to Raffensperger. Graham also asked whether Raffensperger had the power to toss all mail ballots in counties found to have higher rates of non-matching signatures. Raffensperger said. Raffensperger said that he was stunned that Graham's appear that Graham appeared to suggest that he find a way to toss legally cast ballots. Absent court intervention, Raffensperger doesn't have the power to do what Graham suggested as counties administer elections in Georgia. Like, guys, I cannot emphasize enough to you how badly Trump is trying to scrabble and get this to turn into something that he can manipulate into a, a way of him holding power, okay? Like, when your sitting senator comes to your secretary of state and goes, hey, can you throw out the mail-in ballots, please? That's pretty sketch, my guys. It's pretty sketch. <sighs> nice, Riot Girl Callie. Uh, I think what you may what you read may have been confusing, but I think Trump gained 800 votes on Biden with the new votes. No, 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 no. Biden gained uh, about 1,800 votes. Yeah, so he Biden increased his lead by a thousand votes. Uh, at least that's my understanding. I might be wrong, of course, but uh, hey, city. Yeah, I can probably address it. Um, do it. Do you think Trump has any way to actually legally win the presidency? No. Not legally. But I think that there are ways that he can uh, probably manipulate or uh, try. I, I mean, I don't think he's going to be able to do it, but there, he's going to keep trying until the last minute. I mean... Actually, no, no. The the hill does lean conservative. No. But, 
Still worried about faithless electors? Yeah, that's that's worth um yeah, the, the hill does, yes. Um is anyone voting for policy anymore? Lol, politics has become identity based. Uh yeah, I mean on on both sides for Republicans and Democrats, they're largely uh, using identity politics and virtue signaling these days. But um, part of the issue is that Republicans only really want identity politics being on the ballot. Like, they, they just want to discriminate against people who are not in the majority, you know? Um, or not white or cis or men. Um, but, like, the yeah. What about Snopes? Uh, I think Snopes tends to be pretty unbiased from what I've seen. I voted for less fascism. Yes, same, same. Also, I, I mean, you could have still you could have still linked the hill. The hill, the hill's fine. It just it just leans right. I'm, I don't think the hill like posts outright lies or manipulations like Breitbart does. Um, also, hello, a a seems hello. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, also city, uh, if you send the link to a mod, uh, if you try and post links in chat, you won't be able to post them. So send your link to a mod and the mod can, uh, vet it to make sure it's not like a video of someone screaming the N word or something, you know? Hi, do you agree that gender equals sex? No, I do not. Gender and sex are two different things. And... That is the scientific consensus. Well, because gender is the social construct uh, that we relate to sex, um, at least in a heteronormative society. But the two things are not the same. For example, uh, Loop, do you, do you go around and uh, pull down people's pants before you uh, call them uh, miss or mister? Because if you don't, then what you're using is the social construction of gender in order to gender them appropriately. Um, yeah, the scientific consensus in uh, the 1200s was that uh, gender and sex were the same thing too, so your argument is bad. Um, also, A. Seams, thank you very much for the... Uh, or the the follow. I appreciate it. Let's see. Oh, wait, so they haven't actually counted those votes yet. Okay, I was under the impression that they had counted the votes. It seems like they just projected that 800 of them, or Trump would narrow the margin by 800. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait. So the the thing the thing city wait the thing city linked was just a picture of the Proud Boys leader and Rinke. Uh, yeah, they're 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 a white supremacist group. Yeah. Um, have you thought about making a list of sources and topics? You get a lot of like gender stuff and Trump or whatever. I'm not entirely sure what you're asking. I think you are confusing the social construction of gender, which doesn't exist, and the idea of what a woman is or should be, which is actually called gender roles, or a man. Well, no. Uh, so here, here's the part where you're missing this, right? So, again, do you go around and pull down people's pants to inspect their genitals, or do you take blood tests of them and inspect their DNA or chromosome makeup or their hormone levels before you gender someone? Before you call them she or he, do you do that? Because if you don't, then you are just a liar, and your personal experience validates gender as a, as a social construct. Because what you are gendering them on 
is not their biology. It's on your perception, and your perception is different from their biology. The, these two things are fundamentally separate, hence why there is a social construction of gender and why there is a biological understanding of sex. And on top of that, the biological understanding of sex is far more complicated than what you're making it out to be. Sex is not actually all that binary. There's a much wider spectrum between what we call male and female than uh, traditionally was believed to be the case. So the new science that's coming out is showing that actually, even from a biological perspective, sex is a wide ranging spectrum, just as gender is a wide ranging spectrum. So no, you're, you're wrong on both of these uh, fronts. Also, Legend of Alec, thank you very much for hitting that follow button. I appreciate it.